to build a really basic, simple, easy rain board for not a lot of money and you don't want to take all day building it. What I've done is I've gone down to my basement, scrounged through and put together a bunch of stuff to build a really simple, easy, basic rain board. Um, all of this stuff is going to be available at your local home center if you don't have a basement loaded up with junk like mine. So what do we need? Uh, start out four, uh, sorry, five two by fours, about 30 inches in length, standard run of the mill two by four, not much to it. You can go a little bit longer, a little bit shorter than 30 inches, not a big deal. Uh, the longer you make the two by fours, the taller your rain board will be. Uh, also, the wider your rain board will be if you make it shorter. Then you're going to have a little short, diminutive rain board. No big deal. Don't go too tall, don't go too little. Somewhere in that 30 inch range works perfect. Standard two by four. We're going to want to be able to put those two by fours together uh, to make legs. And what I'm going to use are T straps really basic piece of hardware available anywhere. They usually come in packages of two. They come with their screws and everything like that so you can just slap those guys together really quick. You're going to need four of those T-straps total. Next to hang the cross member, really easy basic piece of hardware here. It's called a uh, fence rail hanger and that just gives us a nice pocket to slide the crossbar into. Look at that. Piece of cake, right? Two of those guys. Now we need something to hang the weight off of. And uh, these clothesline pulleys, a couple three bucks at your local hardware store. They're nylon, really inexpensive, really smooth operating. Make sure you give that wheel a spin when you're in there so that you grab one that operates really freely. And we're gonna need to be able to uh, attach these to the crossbar. So what I'm going to use to attach these to the crossbar today is just a, uh, a washer and a wood screw. Just put that right in. I'm going to screw that to the 2x4. Very easy to put together. You can use a lag bolt, carriage bolt with a nut, whatever. Check around see what you've got. Next thing we're going to need is something to hang the weight. Uh, this is quarter inch nylon braided rope. You can use just about any rope. It doesn't have to be exactly a quarter inch, but that fits the groove of this pulley really nicely. So that's a good size. Uh, this bag's got 50 feet in it. That's way more than we're going to need for today's project. So probably just about 10 or 12 feet of rope. Not even. Uh, <clears throat> the next big thing is the weight. So the weight on the rain board really affects how well that rain board helps you uh, feel what it is that you're doing with your reins. A lot of people end up trying to hang individual weights. You've seen it, you've seen the drawings with two sandbags or a couple of sash weights, that kind of thing. That doesn't really take into account for the fact that when you're out there driving your horse, you actually have a 360 degree loop. Left rein leaves your left hand, goes through all of the harness, connects to the horse's bit, that bit connect goes through the horse's mouth, of course, connects to the right rein, right rein comes back to your hand, completes the loop. So you want to complete that loop in the same way when you're building rain board. So one solid weight does the job really well. So this is basically just a little hand exercise barbell. Get nice and fit with this. This one's about three pounds. That's a pretty decent size weight. Maybe had I bothered going to the store, I might've gone and bought a five pound weight or an eight pound weight uh, to get a little better feel for it. But three pounds works really well for the size range that I have. Um, if you use uh, a heavier weight, it's gonna maybe give you a little bit better feel. If you use too light a weight, however, why, What'll happen is as soon as you pick up the reins, that weight's gonna come up off the floor. What I want you to do is go for a weight that actually counterbalances your reins. So when you take contact with the reins, you don't actually lift the bit up off the floor uh, and the reins are nice and straight in your hand. 
then you can go ahead and do some of the exercises that I have. Now for reins, what we're going to do is uh, go for about a seven foot rein total. And that's seven foot per rein. You see, kind of a long, little longer than your standard riding rein. Clearly, obviously not as long as a driving rein. Now I just had a harness maker make these up for me. Uh, Basically, it's a three-quarter inch ring, and what I did is have them finish it with a D-ring at the end instead of a buckle. Uh, you know, a set of draw reins would work from a riding tack shop, or if you have an old pair of driving reins that you can cut down because you're not using them anymore, maybe they got wrecked or something like that, but you don't have the heart to throw them out, that's a great use for that project. Going with a full-size driving rein, a full 10 or 12 feet, Man, that's just going to, number one, set you way back from your rain board. So you're going to have to have a room twice this size even just to play at the rain board. And the other thing is 10 or 12 feet of rain is actually quite heavy. And so it means that your weight will have to be quite a bit heavier in order to counteract those rains. And you won't be able to get nice straight rain contact without lifting the weight off the floor. So go with about six or seven feet on the ring. Uh, I'm just going to use a cordless screwdriver to put all of this together. Shouldn't take more than a few minutes to put this together, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> put two of my boards in a T position. I'm going to measure to the center of this board, 32 inches, and just mark it right at the center. Next thing that I'm going to do is grab one of my T-straps, set there, right on that centering mark. Okay. And just this guy over. Once again, I'm going to measure to the center, but this time I'm going to go just a little bit off so that I know that I'm not running my screws into each other. Next T-strap. Okay, that's it. That took just a couple minutes. Easy. Now, next thing that we have to do is we're going to need to put our crossbar on this. So, that's where those handy little fence rail hangers come in. Okay, so the <clears throat> Fence post hangers aren't quite the same size as the 2x4. Uh, that's just the, the fence rail hangers. It's just the rail hangers that I got. I'm sure you can find ones that are built for 2x4. These are a little bit narrower, so I'm just going to set that down from the top a little ways. Get it about centered. But just figure out where I want to be with the pocket of that. And then... Go ahead and screw that fence rail hanger into place.
Okay, this looks pretty good. Let's uh, try setting it up. Let's see all of this works together. Let's see, we're just gonna balance that guy there. And this will be my crossbar. And just slide it into these pockets. Wobbly. Sometimes these need a little bit of coaxing. Perfect. It's all set, nice and flush. And next thing I'm going to do is pin it up. So for a more permanent rainboard, you can go ahead and put screws into these holes here that are uh, set in the fence rail hangers. Um, but since I'm gonna be taking mine apart and moving it around and that kind of thing, I went ahead and I got some uh, hinge pins at uh, my home center. And uh, this is just basically a pin for, for a door hinge or something like that. I'm going to use these to help hold this together in a little bit more stable fashion. So I'm going to have to drill through the cross piece and I'm going to have to drill all the way through. So this is going to make this rainboard nice and stable. <clears throat> you have to work at that hole a little bit. So now our rainboard will stay nice and solid. So I can use that to work on now. And uh, anytime I want to take that guy apart, well, there you go. It comes apart that easy. So. That's one great little trick to make your rainboard nice and portable. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is hang my uh, clothesline pulleys on the rainboard. And the thing of it is, is I want to make sure that when I hang those clothesline pulleys, that the string is going to hang straight to the weight underneath the rainbow. So the weight's going to be setting right there under the center and I'm going to tie off right at the end of the handle portion of the dumbbell. So what I do is come up to the center of the board and I'll go ahead and mark where are those weights, where do we want that weight to live underneath the center of this. And that will be placement for our clothesline pulleys. Since I already have my drill set up uh, from drilling the holes for the pins, I'm going to pre-drill here and then I'll use my wood screws to So I've got my washer and a wood screw, set that guy into place. Nice. One more. Got my pulleys in place, time to hang some weight off of them. We'll set our rainboard weight, and let's find the rope. 
Okay, the next thing that we want to do is get our rainboard weight hanging directly below the pulleys that we just installed. So, I'm going to have to measure out the rope. And what we're going to do is just run it through the pulley around the weight. Now you can tie whatever kind of knot you want to tie here, but best to tie that knot off before cutting any of your rope because that knot's going to take up some of the rope. Once I've gotten that knot tied off to my pulley, I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra room so that I have room to tie off to my reins in a moment. So let that guy out there. Send my next piece through. Put that rope hanging about even. I'm just going to try to cut both of these ropes about even for uniformity. And uh, that's about that. I'm going to go ahead and tape off the end of these ropes so that they don't fray. You could also burn the end of the rope if it's nylon. This is, but I don't happen to have a uh, lighter on me. Okay, so I'm all taped off there. Nice neat knot. All I've got left to do is to hook up some rings. So, my reins, of course I didn't clean them, I told you this is going to be a quick and dirty rain board, so I got some quick and dirty reins. All I need to do is <clears throat> pass the cord through, and you know what, this goes a lot easier if that weight is just up and out of the way. Now all I'm going to do is fold this rope back once. I'm not going to get cute with any kind of sailor knots or anything like that. That's not my area. So a little electrical tape and a half bend in the rope. And that will... I'm going to go ahead and set my weight on the ground. That's just about perfect. I set it up so that the weight is actually resting on the ground. The reins are at the pulleys. Doesn't have to be exact, I'm just lucky. And uh, look at that. Got ourselves a nice little rain board. Mm -hmm.